everyone. Welcome to this day. It is Thursday, October 21st. We have one meeting to tell you about, and it is this morning, and it's at 9.30. It's the United Architectural Controls and Standards Committee meeting, and that will be in the boardroom as well as virtual. You could follow along at lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings. Now on our show today, we are visited by Donna Rain Showstack, and she is here on behalf of Third, and she's going to introduce us to the new board members, as well as tell us what positions they will be holding. Then we talk with Dr. Marla Anderson from Providence Mission Hospital, and she's got lots of great advice for us uh, for the new year. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Looking pretty nice. We do have some high clouds today, but otherwise we are looking at very pleasant temperatures throughout today as well as the rest of the week. A little bit warmer today, 77.52 tomorrow, 74.56 Saturday, partly cloudy, 70.54 increasing clouds on Sunday, 68.57 and then on Monday a chance of rain, 73.54. Our sunrise this morning was at 7.01 and our sunset We'll be at 610, and thank you, Sarah, for sending in this adorable group of ducks. Just so cute, having fun here in the village. And uh, if you have a photo you'd like to share with us, please email it to lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com, and we are getting ready for the Halloween week next week. So if you have something festive for Halloween, please email that on over. All right, when we come back, we will have Donna here on behalf of Third. Stay tuned. At Norm Reeves Honda Superstore Irvine, we want to buy your car. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, we come to you. On-site professional appraisals now available at your home or office. Two, you come to our dealership just minutes away for an on-the-spot appraisal. Three, value your car online at normreevesshondairvine.com. It's your choice. Plus, you get paid in one day or less. At Norm Reeves Honda Superstore in the Irvine Auto Center, we will buy your car. For more than 30 years, Active Care has been providing the highest level of care to residents with Alzheimer's or other memory loss. We specialize in memory care. That's our sole focus. With three levels of care and an engaging activity program, Active Care enhances life for every resident every day. Our newest community, Active Care Laguna Hills, will open this fall. We're now accepting reservations. Call 949 877 8233 to learn more. Primary care is our first interaction with the healthcare system, but most people don't visit their physicians due to long lines, waiting periods, and moving from lab to lab. At Cure Medical, we bring healthcare straight to your doorstep. Our modern upscale mobile clinics provide services such as prevention and wellness plans, annual exams, lab work, blood tests, and more. Give us a call today to learn more and schedule your next appointment. Cure Medical, close to home, far from ordinary. Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Donna here on behalf of Third. Well, Donna, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to the studio. Thank you. Glad to be here. You know, uh, you haven't been here before, so we appreciate you coming in to visit with us. And, uh, you know, you were on the board, what, about a year ago? Correct? Yes, it's okay. been a year. So my first time being with you was virtually. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, second right. time, but first time here, and I'm delighted. To I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here, and I know you have a lot to tell us about third. Of course, you have new members, and then you also have some positions to tell us about. Yes, and our, we were very delighted to welcome our newly elected members of the board, and okay. I think you've got their names up on the yep. screen. Sure we do. have Jim Cook, Mark Laws, 
Nathaniel likes to be called Ira oh, Lewis, okay. and okay. They, were, they were seated officially on the board at our annual meeting on October 7th. Their first official meeting was the 19th of October, oh, okay. so and we had lots happening at that meeting. Yeah, did you? What, what were some of the things that you had? Well, we first we had we have our new officers, and so I want to share that with you as well. All right, perfect. Yes, president is Robert Muchnick. Okay. First vice president Annie McCary has agreed to stay on. Great. Second vice president Ralph Engdahl. Mm -hmm. Then Jarrett will be secretary, and I have the privilege of serving as treasurer. Now, so. uh, were you a director last year? I was, I've been a director since November. Oh, okay, great. And um, November of last year. Okay, so now taking on treasure, what are some responsibilities you'll have? <laughs> All money. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot. Yeah, it's really just keeping an eye. You know, we certainly have a, a huge fiscal responsibility to right. our members. Mm -hmm. And so helping all of us keep watch over that and coordinating all of that and mm -hmm. also participating as part of our leadership role participating in the GRF finance meetings as well mm -hmm. so that it's not just our isolated portion right right and what are some of the things that you guys want to accomplish next year do you have a little tidbit of oh, some ideas oh yes but i think what i actually my biggest my biggest desire and I'll tell you about the second biggest one, which is the whole board's desire. But my biggest desire is so many wonderful things have been done by our departments to help us save some money in this time of rising prices that we can't right. avoid. So as part of the finance reports each time, mm -hmm. we're going to highlight one area in which some innovations have been done here in the village by the departments that are going to help us not only look really good, <laughs> stay the premier community we are, right. but also save us some money, which is quite a, an undertaking. So that's that's yeah. going to be the finance side of it. All right. But the most exciting thing that I want to share with, with your viewers is that at our October 19th meeting, President Muchnick announced the first of our town hall meetings. Third oh. Mutual is going to have monthly town hall meetings they will be, and so get your calendars out, mm -hmm. they will be on the fourth Wednesday of every month mm -hmm. from three to five o'clock in the Sequoia Room at Clubhouse Two. They will always be the same time, they'll always be the fourth Wednesday, and they will always be in the Sequoia Room. Okay. And what's really important for, for our members to know is that this will be an open forum. We are inviting, not only inviting members to come, but inviting them to speak. And because it is an open forum, that three-minute limit for speaking that's necessary at board meetings will not be imposed. Oh. So they will, we're just going to have dialogues. Nice. The, the President Muchnick will always be there, and he will be joined on a rotating basis with some of our other board members. Okay. So that was very exciting. And what's most exciting and important that we get on right now is that the very first one will be Wednesday. October Next 27th. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's right around the corner. It is definitely coming up. Okay. So that's really important. And I also, because we are back to in-person meetings after our long mm. year and a half of mm -hmm. virtual, mm -hmm. we're back to in-person meetings and I really want to encourage our members to come to attend. We need you there. We want you yeah. there. Yeah. And not just board meetings, because the work of the board is done in committee. Yeah. And we would really love to have our members at our committee meetings, see them, have them come, hear them there, mm -hmm. you know, take an active voice in those right. committees. And once the committees have done their work, what they've accomplished is what's shared at the board meeting and ultimately decisions made. Mm -hmm. But the work is done in committee. So please, to our, to our third mutual members, come to the board meetings and also come to the committee meetings of those that interest you mm -hmm. and those that schedules posted on our website. Well, that is very, uh, it's very nice of the group to decide to do that because many people probably don't feel that you, that the boards hear them uh, and don't have an opportunity. And in three minutes, it's really hard to get all of your points across. So that's nice, although that could extend your <laughs> your time frame of your meetings. It won't, it, it, it shouldn't be a problem okay. because we are pretty efficient at the meetings. Great. We follow Robert's rules of order to keep things Excellent. moving. And you know, unfortunately, we haven't had people coming and we need that, we need okay. that voice. Great. And they are limited to three minutes at a board meeting, plus right. the work is done in committee, so we need you there. Right, right. So well, what are some of the, some of the things that you think uh, will happen at the town halls? I don't know. 
What do you, I'll just have to. Take a guess. Come, <laughs> I, I, I would say, based upon the exuberance that we saw at our board meeting on, on Tuesday on the 19th, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be hearing what our residents want us to know, whether it's complaints. We always, by the way, we don't mind compliments. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes forget you know, to yeah. do that. But yeah. so when there is one that's deserved, we'd love to hear it. But we want to hear what our, what our members are concerned about, right. because if we don't hear it, then we won't know. Exactly. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea, excellent idea. Now, Steve Parsons is no longer with you guys. Yes. And as we welcomed, and thank you, um, as we welcomed our new board members, we also thank Steve Parsons, not only for his years of service as a director on the board, but most recently as president of Third Mutual. And mm -hmm. he is stepping down, and, and we'll miss him. Yeah, he's, he was a great guy. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for the information. I really appreciate it. Did I forget anything? I don't think so, and right. I hope I haven't. And thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. And remember that the first town hall meeting for third is going to be on October 27th from 3 to 5. We'll be right back. someone to clean your house is a big decision. After all, they'll be inside your house and touching virtually everything you own. Sadly though, not all cleaning professionals are actually real pros. Like this person you found online who uses the same sponge in the kitchen they use in the bathroom. If you're looking for a local family-owned business with amazing customer service, contact MadePro for a free estimate. MadePro, when you're ready for a real pro. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. Marla Anderson, who is here on behalf of Providence Mission Hospital. Well, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Now, we are in the midst of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and, you know, it's very important for everyone to pay attention to this. Even men, you know, I, I, I've talked to mm -hmm. several different doctors who talk about how men now uh, are, are showing up having, having breast cancer as well. So with that in mind, uh, you know, what are some of the important things that we should remember during this time? Uh, I think the most important thing is to focus on prevention and early detection. Okay. So, you know, mammograms have been shown to save lives by early detection, and that's the goal. I think that some women get confused that mammograms are preventative, but they don't prevent cancer. They just early detect cancer. We do recommend once a year screening starting at age 40, although there's some varying guidelines out there. I think anybody that practices breast and takes care of women with breast cancer recommends once a year screening beginning at age 40, hopefully with a 3D mammogram, which has improved detection and decreased callback rate for patients. Right. So first, uh, though, before that, I mean, I would say prevention and knowing your risk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we all want to stay healthy and make the right choices. And it really is so important, right. as, especially as we age. And then knowing your risk, kind of where do you fall in that category? Mm -hmm. Your doctors, you know, can help kind of sort out that risk. My office can help sort out that risk. We look at many different um, variables that add to risk, and we use some tools that help us calculate the risk. If women fall into a high-risk category, then we offer more frequent screening, more frequent exams, kind of conversation about risk reduction. And I think a lot of women, you know, especially if you have a family history, um, a lot of women know they're at high risk, but then that causes them to maybe avoid uh, looking into that further because it's a little scary. Right. But we know that early detected breast cancer is highly curable, very treatable. And so that's really our goal. We don't want to find a lump. We want to find, you know, something that's small that we can't feel. Uh, we detect it early. 
You know, there are a few myths, I think, out there. And one thing I think is interesting is that, you know, they changed the age from, I believe it was 50 to 40. But, you know, there are some things, like you mentioned, that you should do prior to age 40 uh, for early prevention. I mean, is it, are there, are there myths that we should be aware of before that age? Well, I think some of the myths are that, one, you know, if you don't have a family history, you're not at risk. So genetic risk is really only about five to 10% of the breast cancer. So the large majority of women diagnosed with breast cancer do not have a family history and there's no you know, known genetic risk that would have been passed down. Mm -hmm. As we age, our cells change and they get older and that's really where the risk comes in. But it doesn't mean that women in their twenties and thirties don't get breast cancer. So we, I think just breast awareness starting in your 20s is really important. And then it's even more important if you have a family history. So if you have a strong family history or you test positive for a certain genetic mutation, we start early screening in your 20s. I mean, we start that early. Okay. Uh, you know, talk, talk to me a little bit about the genetic testing. So is that something that is discussed with your primary doctor as you approach a certain age? I think it's, it's based on family history more than okay. anything. So it's going to be family history history driven and you can kind of see a pattern and you may fall into a pattern where you're at risk for a certain genetic mutation. Mm -hmm. I think the, you know, a lot of primary physicians, family medicine doctors, um, gynecologists are very well aware now of the need to look at genetic risk and then refer or offer that testing mm -hmm. and test positive. It's important to speak with a genetic counselor uh, to talk about what's recommended. Really, it's screening. So if you're at a high risk for whatever disease you test positive for, then it's it's taking advantage of more frequent screening mm -hmm. and, you know, have early detection. Okay, great. Good information. Uh, you know, in general, for all of our sakes, whether, whether it's breast cancer or any kind of cancer, what are some things that we should keep in mind about keeping healthy? We've said it for years and it's eating a good diet because, um, you know, I think especially Americans don't eat well. Mm -hmm. A whole food non-processed diet is so important, but it's really hard to do. In our environment, our, you know, busy, stressful American lifestyle, but if we eat good food three or four times a day, that's anti-cancer. I mean, you're really helping yourself. Right. And we hear it all the time. It's just that it's really hard to take that step to eat well. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's for true. so many reasons, but just, you know, something in a package, we don't want to eat that. <laughs> we want to shop periphery. We want whole food, getting back to the basics, you know, just, um, so I think it's really focusing on that. That is just a huge step. Yeah. Uh, and it's, but it's hard to do. It, it really is. It really is. Yeah. And of course, staying active is also very difficult mm -hmm. to do yeah. because here we are. I mean, I don't walk that much during the day when I'm sitting at my yeah. desk. So it's really hard to do. So yeah. what are some things that you would suggest? Well, I think you have to just make the time for it. You have to make the commitment. I mean, there's no way around it. Now I take the stairs at work. If I have time at lunch, I'll go do stairs. I mean, anything to keep the body moving. So exercise not only maintains our weight, which decreases risk for cancer and, and breast cancer, but the exercise itself actually releases anti-cancer factors, mm. actual molecules that are anti-cancer. Wow. So the exercise is kind of multifactorial, many benefits you know, from multiple angles. But we have to do it again. I mean, it's making the commitment and carving out the time. And, you know, we don't get it. We're not like Greece. We don't get those wonderful siestas. And, you know, we, <laughs> we're just very busy uh, yeah. just the way. The, the So it's making the time and carving it out. Exactly. All right. Well, any last things you'd like to remind us about Breast Cancer Awareness Fund? I think mostly just making sure you take the time to go get that screening mammogram because even that's hard to do, to carve out the time to do it. You know, we tend not to take care of ourselves sometimes because we're busy. So prioritizing yourself, using 
the month of October as the time to remind yourself to go get that screening mammogram because it does save lives and it, it's so important and just breast awareness in general. So, Perfect. All right, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this. Oh, life, how we admire you, are deeply fascinated by you. All your twists and turns and wild rides you take us on. The ups and the downs. Life, you live inside all of us, breathing, growing, beating. You are the reason we'll always provide world-class health care. Providence, we see the life in you. back. Well, today at 1021 a.m. is the Great California Shakeout. And that, of course, is preparing us for disaster, but most importantly, uh, an earthquake. So they want you to, you know, do the whole thing where you stop, drop, and cover. And if you want to find out more information about that, you can go to shakeout.org and find out all the information about that, as well as how to be prepared in a disaster. Uh, another interesting thing is that United Insurance presentation will be next a week, October 27th at 11 a.m. And then of course we'll replay that on October 28th and October 31st. Also on the 28th is United GRF delegates and that'll be at 3 p.m. And the GRF meet the candidates October 29th at 9.30 in the morning. Those will all be televised right here on Village Television. Then Robert's Rules is going to have a meeting. So if you are newly elected to a board, you may want to attend this meeting. And it's the Roberts Rules Study Club meeting. That'll be Thursday, October 28th at 7 p.m. in the Towers Key Club. Uh, if you would like to follow along on Zoom, please go to blindmice underscore three at yahoo.com. Then also next Thursday is the very funny uh, Joey Sims, and she's going to have Tony Calabrese there, and he is going to be also very funny. And if you want to participate, you can contact Surrey at 949-454-1572, or if you just would like more information, you can give uh, that number a call, and that will be at Clubhouse 5 next Thursday, October 28th. Then um, another interesting thing is that Dwelling Live is the software uh, app that you need to use on your phone or your computer to call in guests. So it's very important that you obtain a pass for your guests if you want them to come uh, or have accessibility all year. So if you wanted to do that, you would call uh, Resident Services at 949-579-4600 or you can email them as residentservices at vmsinc.org. And that way, you at least have access and an annual pass would mean you don't have to call them in every single time that they visit. So. You may want to take a look at that. Uh, we did have some pool renovation that is going on, and it already, uh, it's going to start November 1st, and it's going to go through May 6th. So uh, basically, it's going to be mechanical rebuilds, seal replacements, general mechanical cleaning, loose tile replacements, and locker room shower uh, rehabilitation. And um, it is going to be going on for quite some time. So uh, opening day for all pools is scheduled for May 27th. Now, Pool 5 will be closed for annual maintenance from Monday, November 1st through Friday, December 17th. So you may want to check ahead to uh, make sure um, that you don't go to a pool and it's being under construction. All right, New Year's Eve, they are taking reservations now. So if you don't want to miss out, then you need to contact. Uh, you need to go, you can contact Recreation at 949-597-4288 or you can go to tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com. You can purchase tickets there, $35, $30, and $25. And check out the acts. We've got the Cordettes, Jay Johnson, Pete Barbuti, Dan Birch, and Art Vargas. So quite a lineup for your New Year's Eve entertainment. And lastly, want to just tell you, we did have um, 
Debbie on, and she is such a nice lady. She goes over, let's talk tech, all technology, and her October episode is exactly about the Dwelling Live app. So if you've never used it before, this is a great time to learn all about how to use it. She's also going to talk about social media safety and pick an app of the month. So you can tune in Mondays at 1030 in the morning right here on Village Television. All right. One more announcement for you is I think this is a great idea. I just love it. OC Animal Care, which is ocpetinfo.com, has a drive through pet food pantry. What a great idea. So if you are in need and you need some goodies for your pets, you can go to this and it's held on the second Saturday of each month from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, if you would like more information on that, you go to ocpetinfo.com and they can tell you all about how to participate. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Looking pretty good today. We just have some high clouds, but uh, should be nice and sunny with a high of about 77 today. 52 overnight. Tomorrow, 74, 56. Saturday, 70, 54. Then Sunday, increasing clouds, 68, 57. Uh, Monday, there is going to be some clouds with a chance of rain. We'll keep posted on that, 73, 54. Thank you for watching this day today. You can rewatch our program at 12:30 and 5. And then, of course, you could always go to our YouTube channel, Village Television. Have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. In a time of need, it's more important than ever to have caring professionals around you that exemplify kindness, compassion, and empathy. Alethea Home Care is a non-medical family-owned company aiming to improve and maintain the quality of life for our clients and their families. We work hard to ensure your loved ones are safe and comfortable in a warm and familiar environment. Located right here in Laguna Woods, our services include companionship, light housekeeping, respite care, hospice support, transportation, and so much more. Spoil your loved ones with quality care and call today. Well, the, the, the next thing we, we want to talk about is highly controversial. But I think it's extremely important for patients. Actually, I think it's important for families, too. California Living meets expert memory care at Sarah Soul. Our community is designed to help those with Alzheimer's or dementia live truly inspired lives. From caring staff who knows your loved one's favorite activities to comfortable routines that spark positive memories, we bring a touch of warmth into everything we do. Memory care is a big decision, and we're here to help every step of the way. See what makes Sarah Soul unique. Learn more today at sarahsoul.com. Welcome to OCI Care with Dr. Vias, Laguna Woods' most trusted premium laser eye surgery and comprehensive ophthalmology center. Located in the heart of the Laguna Woods community, OCI Care specializes in laser cataract surgery, glasses-free cataract surgery, microscopic glaucoma surgery, diabetic eye checks, routine exams, and all your other eye care needs. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. Come in for your appointment today for a lifetime of better vision. Tip, toss, take action, don't give mosquitoes a fighting chance.